Glass Flooring Systems Incorporated, Whippany, New Jersey, asked me if I would digitize some of their diagrams, so they sent me out paper templates. These paper templates that I'm digitizing are for structural flooring for an interior location. To prepare our diagram for a trace, we have to insert two reference points, one on the left side and one on the far right side on board number one. By inserting these two points, the diagram can be moved, but the program knows where the diagram should be. These points allow us to later move the diagram and redraw some of those sections over the board joints. So we're now going to start the digitizing and on the menu I'm going to select lines and arcs and I'm going to say start and we'll start to trace out the template. Just follow along the diagram and I put a point every so often and especially on the corners of the diagram as you can see right there. And if you make a mistake you just stop it, push cancel and start again. Very simple. The mistake would be that when I take a look at the computer screen if I don't like the trace I would redo it right then and there. Here we're looking at a good solid trace. So I'm just going to carry on and continue the trace and when I get to the end, about maybe two inches from where I started, I'll quit and I'll let the computer finish it up. I do that because I don't want a crossed vector. So here it shows that small gap that the computer will fill in. And once that gets filled in, I'll save my file as a DXF file. The customer, Glass Flooring Systems, had requested six reference points to be drawn on the file. These reference points are just small X's and they're unconnected traces. You can see here where I'm drawing this small X and I'm using an unconnected trace because I don't want the lines to connect up. This was requested by them so it must be something to do with their machine setup. You can see the small black dots there. That's the reference points they requested. So you can see here I'm just finishing up with these reference points. I still have a few more to go. Each reference point is treated as one little operation, one digitizing. So I have to do each one and then save it. You can see here the six reference points are done. The diagram's finished. So now we can complete everything, save this as a DXS file, pattern 2. Now I'm going to run a DXF viewer. It's called CAD Viewer. I'm going to have a look at this file and see how it looks. Uh, see what the reference points look like, the small X's. I'm happy with my drawing, so it looks like this is a good one. I always like to look at my diagrams through a third-party piece of software just to check it out. This is Vetric Aspire 9.0. So I've loaded the DXF file into this program to create a toolpath to enable me to cut this on the CNC. The simulator part of this program allows me to have a look at the panel, have a look at the reference points, and have a look at the cut. And I've got tabs in here, so that's why the panel doesn't pop right out. The tabs are part of my process to keep the panel in place while it's being cut. And after I'm finished, I'll just cut the tabs. I'm showing here that I've mounted the Lexan on my CNC uh, tabletop. I screwed some of it down and I also used wood clamps. I also loaded the file through a USB stick into the computer. And that file is the tool path that the machine requires to cut this panel out. I've set up the router about 19,000 RPM. I'm using a quarter inch end mill and I'm running about 50 inches per minute. The video sped up just for the purposes of this demo. Small issue here was the dust pickup because the particles get charged and it's very hard for the dust extraction to really pick everything up so the, the filings off the Lexan is sticking to everything. The cut went well, there were no issues and the panel popped right out when it was done. I removed the panel 
and I took it back to the jumbo drawing boards where the template was still on the table. I put the panel on top of the template and checked for alignment. Everything lined up perfect. All corners matched perfectly. I used quarter inch Lexan for this demo.